In a very simple business, when we pay to our employees, we just pass the entry of salary account debit to bank account or cash account. But Suppose you are doing accounting job in a very big business, and there are lots of employees in the lots of department. At that time, just passing this simple entry is not sufficient. For this, you have to follow payroll accounting system. In this system, you have to create different departments, employees list, and then you have to divide his total ceiling into two parts. One is what the employer gives him in salary. means uh, basic pay second house rent allowance on the basis of basic pay third bonus fourth incentives fifth any other things uh, which uh, is given by employer to employee other benefits and in the form of deductions uh, deductions uh, we can include uh, employees provident fund deduction that is uh, at the 12% uh, of uh, basic pay and uh, second is uh, employees straight insurance deduction Passive formula and uh, third uh, may be a uh, contain contain deduction employer operates uh, contain and uh, employee uh, buys uh, different things from that contain uh, and adjust this amount from his salary. and uh, fourth is uh, other deductions now uh, on the in the sorry in the books of uh, employer or company all these things are uh, indirect expenses okay this is a uh, current liability what is this is a current asset assets we can include overtime 
our time if uh, imply uh, spent is uh, time to do uh, the production he has right to get uh, overtime salary now we calculate net amount which is given to imply from employer we can write here basic pay account debit hra account debit bonus account debit and incentive account debit and uh, overtime account debit these are the expenses so these account will be debit with, with its amount and uh, we will credit to epf fund epf deduction just uh, employees part part this is credit esi deduction deduction credit and uh, contain deduction will also credit now when we deduct this amount from this we calculate net payable amount to employee or net salary payable payable account credit now we will pay to employees net salary payable account debit to bank account this is the simple one employees uh, salary accounting accounting treatment like this uh, you can accounting treatment of all the employees now this amount uh, will go to profit and loss account and uh, this amount go to current liability liabilities account okay if uh, there is a professional tax this will also be credit okay i think you will understand what i explained thank you very much